Hi guys, welcome to Delivery Studios. We'll be talking about the bottom abas, the Android bottom abas. One of the defining features of the material design is the design of the bottom abba. Based on the changing needs and behaviors of users, the bottom abba is an evolution from standard material guidance. It puts more focus on features, it increases engagement and visually anchors the UI. Uh, it is bundled and packaged with the Android X, uh, which is uh, the latest Android uh, uh, operating environment uh, where you need to have Android Studio 3.2.0 and above uh, for you to use it. And you need to uh, refactor your previous code if you want to take advantage of the Android X or you include the new dependency with the X uh, sign uh, right inside the dependency uh, library. The Android X is the open source project that the Android team uses to develop test package and version and releases uh, the libraries within the Jetpack. It's a major improvement to the original Android support library. Uh, like the support library, the X ships separately from the Android OS and provides backwards compatibility across Android releases. So we'll be focusing more on the the bottom up bar, uh, where I would like you to look at the user patterns. Uh, we have it right there in the material design uh, site. A bottom up bar display navigation and key actions at the bottom of the mobile screens, as you can see. Uh, we have some usage pattern, the anatomy, the behavior, the theming, the specifications, and the implementation, which I would like you to, to look around before you integrate a bottom up bar. One, you shouldn't integrate the bottom up bar with a bottom bar. We, that's a difference between, uh, you look at when to use this. Uh, you should use the bottom up bar strictly for mobile devices. Uh, where you need to assess uh, the bottom navigation drawer when screens with two or five actions not just when you have no actions in the bottom arbor you shouldn't use the bottom arbor when you have a bottom navigation bar or screens with one or no actions as you can see the left and the right are uh, cool how uh, you and you have the anatomy the way it should be structured uh you could see i structure the floating actual body could sit in the middle you could sit at the far right end and you have the the navigation menu the uh the search you could add the favorites you could add them right there at the bar and you should have the navigation drag control which is the tool yeah so the first one is the container the drag control as you can see uh, the floating action button which is right there in the middle it could be engraved into the bottom out bar you could make it sit or overlap it Depends on how you want it. Look at the positioning of the floating action button. It could sit at the far right end where all the menus are uh, sit rather at the left corner. Cool. Uh, you could set it up this way for uh, landscape mode. Uh, let's see the do's and don'ts. Uh, don't don't add it over the upper. Don't just do that. It's not uh, the standard. And that's one thing I would like us to look at. Uh, there's an aspect where you need to introduce uh, the app enabled. Look at the navigation. A bottom app can display navigation menu icon to open a bottom navigation drawer, but the app doesn't contain any navigation action itself. So it's either you embed it right there in uh, the code or in the layout, or you set up uh, a toolbar, which is the uh, top toolbar, if you like. But uh, you could embed it. I have an example of such. So without much ado, let's get straight to set up the bottom app bar right there in Android. You have it set up and you need the Android X as I've said. You must run Android 3.2.0 and above. Let's get to start up with the gradle. Everything starts with the gradle. The dependence is very, very important. So you need to target uh higher Android version, target SDK version 28, Bluetooth version 28.0.2. Uh, the minimum is 19. So if you have a previous source code and you want to migrate uh, to use the uh, 
Android X, you just click on the refractor. You have migrated to Android X. But before you do that, I would like you to back up your source code because there might be some glitches. Some libraries might not be talking to Android X uh, correctly. We have such. So it's better you back up before trying this action so that you could be able to uh, roll back to what you have. So you need to include the material library. You don't use the support design again. Uh, you have to add the Android X, you could see when you're having your app compact. When you have your constraint layout, you add your Android X on like, and you can't use the two together. You'll be having different errors here and there. You can't use the app compact, the legacy app compact with the Android X app compact because they have similar libraries. So it's actually difficult two of the same. So it's actually going to conflict each other. So you need to add the material, which is where we're going to use uh, the bottom app bathroom. Uh, and you could actually set this up. Some third party libraries are having issues. Something like uh, Proteinife is having issues with uh, the Android X. So I will employ you to just do it the Android way. Find you by ID. Cool. You get uh, this setup. Uh, let's look at the activity main XML. Uh, by then the activity main XML, you could see the layout already. You set up your bottom bar, which is with a tag bottom bar. Uh, you could have the tint. Uh, you could set up, set it up right there. That's tint that's give the color to the bottom bar. Uh, you could have uh, the the add the navigation. It fits in. You could set the FAB to the right. You could set it into the center. You could engrave into. Uh, the button bar depends on how you set it up. So you have that set up and you have the navigation icon, which is this right there sitting at the left corner. Very important. So you add that as well, which is going to serve as the drawer. The floating action button six beneath, uh, where you get to set up the layout with an eye drop content and the source, which is the white add button right in on top of the floating action button. And don't forget to set the layout anchor. You have to link uh, the floating action button with the bottom up as it's actually going to uh, infuse into each other. Uh, so let me quickly tell you how you could set up your arrow key. You could just set it up as a drawable, as a drawable. Uh, the image you just put it into it. And in code, you just uh, set it up. It depends on how you want to make it behave. You could make it behave like a back button. Or you could set up uh, the up uh, navigation so you could code that right there in the Java class too and uh, to, uh, undo the behavior of the arrow uh, button. So, cool. With that, you have the basic bottom up bar setup. So, let's get to look at uh, how we interact with some menus right there in the Java class. Uh, but before I go straight to the main activity, we have the the menus just like the way we used to have the menu on the toolbar. But now you will see how we're going to abstract or let's say connect the menus on the toolbar with the bottom upper. You set up your menu as you used to do in the menu. Uh, XML file, you have the fluid, the, the favorite button, the search and the settings, just like the way you've always had it. And let's get to look at that in the main activity, how we were going to uh, fuse them together. Just like basic main activity, you have your create method. Uh, you set up your floating action button, get the view by ID, you get a view by ID of the bottom app bar. And look at this line, line 21, you need to set support action bar. Now you're, you're like delegating the duty of the top toolbar to the bottom app bar. Set support action bar to the object of the bottom app bar. So in an on create options menu, just like you always have your create options menu when you're dealing with it, uh, with the top bar. You set up the menu, bottom upper menu, and on option item selected, uh, that's when you get to generate those IDs. It sits, is it a favorite? Is it uh, the settings? Is it the search? You get to do something with the menu on click of each of those items. So you get to do that in the on options item selected, just like the way you've always been doing. So cool. That's just the basic way to get yourself set up using the bottom up bar layout in the next video we'll talk about how to integrate the uh navigation drawer with it and uh we'll need to write this also 
in Kotlin. Let's get to see another abstract or another version of this written in a different uh, programming flow, which is Kotlin, which is still a subset of Java. So I will be showing the screencast. Let's see this over there, probably in an emulator or something, so that we could appreciate how this will look like. Uh, cool.